Hi all, right back with more Skies Above Britain. This is my Chapter 2, Patrol 1, Part 4. Yeah, so this should be a short part. Um, because, um, yeah, I could probably could have wrapped things up in an hour, 20 minutes there. Uh, but I kind of ran out of time and I thought, I'll just cut the video and start again. Because um, I think we're done. We're done there, I mean. I don't know, we... <laughs> There could be, there could be possibilities. We're we're sitting at the chase step, and we do have a, we do have a, another guy up there in the in the lost contact that could chase back down here. But I, I think we're go, I think we're being greedy because we we've got a few risky die rolls to come. I mean, yeah, this is only one damage. This is only two damage to hat to take down. You know, we potentially could have. Uh, Put two aircraft on that, maybe one on that. We might be able to do it. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, we need to chase the guy in, but we've got. Is it 11 points I've got, or is it maybe 12? I think we've got two, another two there. I think it should be 12, actually. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we've got 12 points. The, the best we've had was 11. That was the very first patrol. And that was a good score, so <laughs> let's just take a 12 and. and be done with it, I think. Um, plus, then you're risking this move and your channel patrol possibilities and whatever. So, Chase, right, lost contact sections in independent area fires must go to the RTB track or attempt Chase. Um, so, we're not going to attempt Chase, we're just going to put them back to base. Like I say, it's not looking too clever up there. Uh, so, he was blue, he's going, well, they're all going to go in there. Um, uh, however, that was a chase one. So this is a patrol complete. Well, no, we still have fighters. Actually, maybe we do end up over this. Maybe it is going to move before we get the chance. I can't. I can't recall. I can't remember how it all works out again. Right, fuel. So we're going to spend some fuel. Uh, I think we've possibly got all colours: green, red, yellow, blue. Yeah, we do actually. They're still. They're still all there in the bomber formation. There. There's one of each. So, right, escort recovery. Well, the escort station is not suppressed. Escort exit. Oh, that would be interesting if it, if it exited, would that tempt you into something? It shouldn't. Right, we've got a 10 here anyway, so, well, it's not going to remove it, it would just reduce it to light. But we need a 10 or higher. And what do you know? <laughs> Well, we didn't chase with the other guys, so we kind of needed him, I think, because the other guys, I've got two guys with no ammo, one with jam guns, and one that's low ammo, just. Uh, so that does actually reduce. Uh, yeah, if it's heavy, it becomes light. Okay. And then, uh, channel patrol, there's not a channel patrol number in there. It's no black number, so that doesn't apply. Reform, we're not doing any of that. Raid vector, right, okay, so it is moving. Ah, yeah, I didn't put the tokens out, did I? I didn't put the vector markers out. Hey, no, oh, okay, right then. Um, well, I'm probably just going to, I'm probably just put the first one out, but I need to um, give them a shuffle out here and randomize. We know it's going to be measure smiths anyway, because obviously we get measure smiths. <laughs> um, so we'll shuffle about, there should be 12 of these, I think, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, there's 12. So this is going to move into here, and I'm going to pack this one. So I'll just put the one out just now, and we can always add, oh right, well, oh no, that's bad, that's bad, that's, in fact that's worse probably, is it not? Does that not mean one of our guys get hit? I think so, I think so. So that goes in there, and we've got a flak. Um, which is card 32 got the number printed right draw that many for the bombers place damage markers random when bombers one marker per tile start with the tile with the fewest fallen and friendly fire if any area fighters in the bomber formation there place an equal number of hit markers randomly on area fighters there and perform hit checks with an equal number of hit markers. Okay, yeah, so it's just a straight up hat, isn't it? Hmm. 
That's kind of bad. I would have took my chances against the Measure Schmitz rather than that, because that's a straight up hit for sure. Right, well, okay, well, I've got to deal with it. So these are the only five tiles, uh, sorry, six, six tiles. The other two are away. Um, but I don't think this is having an effect. So I'm going to I'm going to draw one damage marker. Right, and it's a possible fallout on a on a twelve roll, possible fall one. Where did I put that? So place the damage markers randomly on bombers, one marker per tile. Within largest contiguous set of bomber tiles. Well, they're all isolated. Start with a tile with the fewest fallen, destroyed and damaged markers. Right. Okay. So we're not counting. This has got two, this has got one, this has got two, so we're going to, it's going to be between these three tiles. Just start that off by saying randomly on bombers. Well, yeah, but then it does say start with a tile. Right, page 52, I'm just reading this off the card, so. Uh, put some random bombers, one marker per tile. So I think Argus. Contiguous set of tiles, this one down is my curve. Pair tiles, start with the tile if you just fall in. Distribute as evenly as scattered as possible. Yeah, so it's going to be one of the ones that don't have any on it. So this is uh, 1 to 4, 5 to 8, 9 to 12. Uh, and then within that, I'm going to randomise 1 to 4, you know, from left to right. So it's a 1 and then a 4. So it's going to be tile number one and uh, four as the leftmost. So um, I, I do need to roll to see if that, if we roll a 12, it'll fall out. I kind of hope it doesn't because it doesn't really matter. Right, it doesn't. Um, so that's that, really. Nothing more to that. Um, well, that's that from the bomber's point of view. Now we've got to randomly select one of our four fighters and give it a hit. Oh boy. So, um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. Hey, okay, now. Right, let's roll first, Grant. We've got twelve, so it's red, two. Yeah, I know our, our aces are away anyway, they're in the fate box. So it's going to be red, two, he's got no ammo. Um, and he's just going to suffer at that, yeah. And then we do the hit check, it does say, and then perform hit checks. So kind of hoping we can draw a little number here. Oh, yes, 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 please. That's a good done. So, um, well, the last four and five we rolled, we rolled ones. So, come on, four or higher. That's a ten. I thought that I just knocked up and sat on the... Uh, it's not, it is flat. Yeah, I was looking back to the role we had when we were trying to uh, make contact. Well, yeah, no, I intercepted the bombers and the, the die roll. It was, it was a, I mean, it was near enough a 10 and it was just cocked slightly. You probably didn't see it. I probably could have got away with it, but I was trying to be... It was just slightly cocked and I re-rolled it. Unfortunately, we rolled a 12. Uh, so it becomes trivial. So that was lucky. Um... So that's that away. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting the other ones. Uh, well, if you are, you need to put that back because I've got them lying here. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm doing anything else. So that that is a red vector. We would we would have went back to. There's only one thing to do. Um, space is already up to. Three markers in the last space, go to card 36. No, I think I just go right through these. Turn point, red vector, weather. Oh, yeah, just it. Well, either. Does it take us to swirl again now? Yeah? Did I miss a bit? It tells me to go to swirl again, maybe. I don't think that's on that. So, here's the card. Reveal that to markers in the red marker space one at a time, apply them, right, if the space is already empty, which it was, move the red marker to the next space, and then reveal resolve vector markers in the new space. 
oh, sorry, it's 27 me. So we then went and done this. We went to car 32. It brings you back to this again, I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Once all markers in the ray track space have been revealed and apply, go to card 35, swirl again. Okay. I kind of knew what I was doing. And then swirl again is just... Um, uh, some Mario fighters are still in play. Go back to card 12. Well, card 12 is our orders. We've not got anything to give orders to, so we actually go to card 16, which is now our... Uh, no, 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 it's not 16, it must be 18. Sorry, it's 18, no, no, yeah, 18, not 16. 17, 18, yeah. And now we have the choice of returning to base everybody or attacking bombers, so that's what we're going to do. So, <laughs> no, I don't think you should. And you never chase the guy, I've got, I've got, this guy's got no ammo. So, I mean, come on, this guy and this guy are going home. They've got no ammo. So they're, they're definitely going home, and they're nice and safe where they are. Um, <clears throat> and this guy's got low ammo, this guy's got low ammo and jam guns. And I mean, I'm only going to get one more point. If I chase with the other guy, the temptation could have been to go one on this and two on one of these two. Eh, sorry, well, on that's probably. But let's not, let's not. I think we've got enough points as well more than enough some might say so let's just uh, return to base and call it a day there because we've got some iffy things to to be looking at so we are return to base everybody there's nobody else left there uh, next would be escort reaction however there's no more fighters in the bomber formation area so we ignore that there's nothing I lost contact to chase the patrol is now complete Area fighters on the RTB track or in fake bonuses. Patrol ends go to card 36. Right, done. Card 36 appears and uh, I can take these away. These don't matter and then we can move things about a little bit. Uh, I can take the red marker away as well. Yeah, um, yeah that's fine. Okay. Now, the not so good part. The bit where we really need to get some dyro in. Like a demon again. Um, so, fate check each fighter in a fate box. The die rolls out as anything but hang a roll again for fighter's fate. And remember, there's two, no, there's three guys that have got channel recovery markers on them. We've got Ackland, we've got Dean, and we've got King. So, mm -hmm. right, okay, well, I'll just go top to bottom left to right. So we'll start with King. I'll just show me that a little bit. Now here's a green pilot, which could help. Oh yes, I tell you what, I tell you what. If he, yeah, that, that's good. Cause he's a green pilot, his bailout numbers are 12. So we need to roll a 12 from him to bail out. I mean, okay, one to five is not good. It's just as bad, but at least we've got that little gap, six to 11, we need to roll to get a hospital. A wounded situation. Uh, Ackland, however, is not green. He's got a slightly better chance, though. 7 to 12 to avoid it completely. Uh, let's kind of hope that if he doesn't hit that, he, he catches fire. <laughs> Sorry, Martin. Uh, but you can see, obviously, that's going to have a slightly better chance of not bailing out because that bailout stuff is not where you want to be when you're over the channel. Right, let's do King. Um, so he needs a 10 to 12 to just forget about the other things. So let's just do that. Let's just get the 10, a 10, 11 or a 12. No. Right, so because he's green, we don't look at the crash part. We don't look at the fire, we go straight down to green. Anything other than the hangar, and you've, if you've got a green pilot, you just go to green. So this is the good part, because he's over the channel with the thing, a 12 is going to bail him out. However, if, if we get a 1 to 5, it's, like I say, it's just as bad. We need a 6 to 11. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or over one. And we got here. Okay. So he's gone. He's gone. Uh, didn't bail out. He's just straight. Killed in action. Um, okay, I can deal with the rest of that later. Uh, that's all I'm close to that. Right. Okay, bad start. Right, Martin, let's see what your fate is. And he's not green, but 7 to 12. And he just lands his plane safely. So let's just do that. Yes, well done. Okay, so it lands, so we don't need to worry about the bailout. Um, I'll just put him... I'll just put him up beside the regular pilot's but I don't know, he might, he might be fatigued. We'll look at that later, but he's fine. All good. Right, there's one more with a channel uh, recovery, isn't there? So let's let's do him next. Just remember, Grant, these are all in the wing, right? These are all in the wing. So this is another green pilot. Needs an 8 to 12. Again, this is going to be quite good if he doesn't get it. But as long as we roll we're higher than a 4. Um, so 8 to 12. Let's see if we can get the 8 to 12, though. And just land the plane. No, terrible roll again. Well, hopefully we've got the terrible roll out of the way. So again, because he's green, we ignore the which normally would be the one to six fire result. So green pile up. So eleven pluses are going to bail, bail out, but he doesn't want that. He wants a five to ten. Oh dear. Well, there's another one gone. So he's he's killed an action as well. This is his first first patrol and down he goes. Um so two KIA. Right, okay, let's finish this off. These are both our aces, so we don't want to lose them. They are in the wing box, remember. Um so an eight to twelve, these are not green, but they've not got the issue of the bailout thing. Uh, 8 to 12 for, this is Every, this is one of our top pilots, oh dear, 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 so that's a 3, that is a fire result, remember he's not green, so that's a 10 plus to be, now, now, now this is bad, so, well we don't want 1 to 3, um, well he's not got his ace skill anyway, I don't think, it's just a veteran thing isn't it, this doesn't help, no, it's just a veteran one that helps here. So, um, well, we want a 10 plus. Certainly nothing lower than a 4. That's a 6. So, it is wounded. It is a wounded result. So, he's away at the hospital. I'm pretty sure we're going to struggle for pilots in the next... Uh, next patrol now, I think. And then finally, we've got uh, H Hall. This is our other ace pilot. He needs an 8 to 12 as well. He's in, in the wing box, remember? 8 to 12 to land that. Yes, well done. Good. I might have lost uh, two of them because the hospital's like not an easy bit to get out of. Um, so he goes back, he lands his plane safely, and that's fine. Okay, and then we check for the fuel check. All of these are in boxes that are fine. No bailout numbers required. Um, channel recovery check. Well, none of, them <coughs> none of them hit the channel recovery box. They just straight up got killed. Sadly. Um, so pilots, so let's update things. And, uh, yeah. Right, so K King killed an action, sadly. Uh, K I A and Dean, who just phoned his first patrol, uh, killed an action as well. He actually got he got a bomber kill as well. I sort of got to watch because I'm going to have to rub that out if I replace him. So I can't really track eh, all the bomber kills within this because if I'm wiping people out, for instance, Tansy there, if I replace his name, I'm going to have to rub this out. 
But I mean, I don't think I need to keep that after if they've been killed in action, as long as I've got the total scores, of course, here, oh, that's fine. So, yeah, two killed in action. Right, again, we get to replace one. And again, this is the part, if you play the optional rule, uh, graduated replacements, I think this is the, this become, uh, becomes a lot harder here. So, um, so let me go and uh, replace some somebody. Right, okay, I've replaced uh, King with Kennedy, just a random name, and he's green, so we can remove both of these. However, his K is going to return. Uh, v is not. So we've got three pilot counters now that are not being used, so the more of them that happen, the worse it's going to get. So he is going to be a, green pi a new green pilot that's available for us, so... And we shall see where we stand, fatigue wise, or whatever. And then we tally up the points um, and then get ready for the next patrol. Okay, so yeah, let's say we, after watching some of uh, Tim's stuff, decided his score and the way he was doing it looked, looked better. Uh, most of it, most, you know, I'm still sticking by some of the stuff that I was doing. So we got um, four bomber kills, we got all eight kit isolated, so that's eight points, and the four for the bombers gives us 12 points in total. We did not have anybody that bailed out, we got um, one wounded, and there's actually two in the hospital now, and we got two KIA sadly, so yeah, that's uh, not so good, yeah, so get the feeling we might have we might struggle this time and have to play um, actually Tim made a little comment that um, he, uh, if he has got a couple of pilots left that, to fill out the roster and uh, to fill out the display and, the, and their fatigue they'll reduce them it's not that big, I mean it's a minus one to a lot of the die rolls I think um so it's not it's not huge. I mean, it's not what you want, but clearly, even if you've got no choice. And I was actually thinking you had to fill out your 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 complete roster anyway. And I was about to reply that to him, and I thought, well, I'm not that sure about that. And no, that's not the case. You can you need to fly at least one flight. So you need to fly two squadrons. You don't need to fly any more than that, or if you do fly any more than that, I think you're going to the game's going to end. I think it's something like that. But um, I think my thinking had been that you had to have twelve pilots, um, and there's also a rule that if you can only have uh, um, you can only have uh, you can't have all green pilots. I think you've got to have at least three regular or veteran pilot pilots, something like that. Or again, I think the game's going to end on you. Um, so, so yeah, these these things are uh, other things that can happen. So, right, anyway, that's it. Uh, all done. Yeah, I did think 20, 20 minutes would have wrapped that up, but that's fine. We can just have a little short part here at the end. Um, uh, and I'm going to go and set up uh, the next patrol. So we have six, six patrols in uh, Chapter 2 as well. And then... Um, yeah, I'll go and get that set up and I'll be back shortly. Cheers.